number 15 seed and Connor Utsi of Michigan. Utsi just 6-6. Six and six. Utsi, a two-time All-American, had gotten a job, I talked to him in July, had gotten a job and was going to forego his final season of eligibility. But at Michigan, they had a couple of injuries at 125, so Utsi came back out. I want to say that was mid-January. And wrestling here once again, unseated, I believe, the two times he was an All-American. Not sure if he was seated in either one of those years. But he understands what it takes to win in March. At the Big Tens was wrestling. Piotrowski of Illinois was down in that match by five or six. A little over a minute left. Found a way to win that match. Just real gritty is Yutsi. Yutsi out of Parma, Michigan. Mason High School was fifth at the Big Ten Championships. At the Big Tens, as I mentioned, beat Piotrowski also beat Ethan Lezak. Both those wins were in sudden victory. No score, 135 first period. And Templeman on the board first, a takedown for the Cowboy, 2-0. Templeman was third at the Big 12s out of Ording, Washington, Ording High School. A couple of seniors here on Matt 3. And a pin on Matt 2 from Darian Cruz of Lehigh, the 4 seed, as he pinned Dylan Peters from Northern Iowa. Peters, a couple time All-American, have been battling injuries the last couple of years. Templeman riding time approaching 30, but as I say that, there's two reversal for UC. 2-2. Two, two. 40 seconds left during this first period. The battle's within the battle. Here's one right here. 35 seconds left. Templeman gets that first takedown, but gives up a reversal. Of course, if you're Templeman, you've got to find a way to get one back. Cannot finish the period on bottom. And on the flip side, you see right here. 31 seconds. There is no way you're letting him get away. You see, with an ankle pick, pinch in the left side, goes to a claw ride. You see, with the wrist, now going to bring that back at least for a second into a hammerlock position. Now he's going to go hook left side. This is great work from Utsi in the top position. Final seconds, first period, and Utsi wins that battle. That's huge. Gets the reversal, rides him out the rest of the period. Templeman's got choice. He's going to go on bottom. Coach McFarland, Coach Terrell in the corner for the Wolverine. Mark Branch, former Oklahoma State Cowboy greats, head coach at Wyoming. There's a caution on Templeman, and that's okay. We got three cautions. I like that. Guy's been riding you tough. Want to get every little edge you can get. Use a caution. You're fine there. You see riding to start right side. Now going to shift to the left. Has that left ankle trapped. Sit from Templeman, but you see, Chase's hips. Inside wrist. You see, gonna try to suck him back. You see, riding time at 40 seconds. It's just good work from the Wolverine, you see. And now he's gonna cut him. A little bit surprised he didn't. 
give a little bit more effort there on the top position. So Templeman back out in front, 3-2. Both guys collar tie ear to ear. Stalemates. My opinion, if you're ear to ear, forehead to forehead for more than 10, 15 seconds, you're not trying to score. Hate that position. There might be some value there, but he gets that position. Get to an attack or get out. 45 seconds, second period. UC trailing at 3 to 2. UC began his career, I believe, at West Point before coming over to Ann Arbor. Two on one from Templeman. We're short time at 20 seconds. I'd love to see the analytics win those final 20 seconds of periods. Again, if you're neutral, can you score a takedown? Can you escape on bottom, finish a period on top, that point save, point earn? And this one is going to go 3-2 to the third. You see with choice, going to go on bottom. Good battle here on mat three. Good forward pressure here from Templeman. Tripoding up is the Wolverine Utsi. And Utsi escapes, took them 13 seconds for 3-3 three, three here on mat three. Utsi and Templeman at 125 pounds. Shot from Templeman. Now gonna switch off to a double. UC rolls through. Templeman trying to get an angle and score the two. UC staying heavy on the bottom, keeping the ankle. No points awarded yet. Typically, here you get a lot of stalemates. They're a potentially dangerous whistle with the pressure on the left knee of Utsi. 105 here in this third period. Only takedown was by Templeman. That was early first period. There's a shot from Utsi, countered by a two-on-one from the Cowboy Templeman. The winner of this match will get potentially the number two seed Joey Dance of Virginia Tech. UC beat Joey Dance either a year ago or two years ago, a big win in the tournament to keep Dance from becoming an All-American. Dance was an All-American as a freshman and has since been a top three seed the last two years but unable to capitalize for the Hokies. Just 30 seconds left. Front headlock position by Utsi. He's got an underhook right side. Pitch in the elbow is Templeman. Inside trip from Utsi. And able to square up. It was Templeman. Now they're back to their feet. We're inside of 15 seconds. Clock reads 11 seconds. Utsi's picked up his pace here. Late in the third. The illegal hole makes it four to three. Four to 